1982, The Book, Battlefield Earth, A Saga of the Year 3000. Good fucking luck trying to get hold of a copy. America blacklisted it decades ago. A book by L. Ron Hubbard, a science fiction, a satire. The story is set. Spoilers! The story opens with the immortal words by Turl. Man is an endangered species. This is set 3,000 years after a Holocaust wipes out the majority of the population of the planet. The Cyclos, a mining planet, sent a gas drone in to wipe out the human inhabitants. A few people survived in non-populated areas. Nuclear weapons were used when they sent in ground troops to no avail. They conquered the planet, they wiped out the majority of the population. Those cavemen type people left behind were just in remote areas, hunted for sport by the invaders. The story goes on, it is one of the best books ever written. You can find audio copies online. You can find audio books that are not loaded, which I have done to my channels. If you do a search on my channels, you'll find a link. You'll just do a search Battlefield Earth and it'll give you a link to the audiobook. I will redo them at some point. It is one of the most emotive, well-written stories I have ever read. It is one of those books, if I had to choose one single book to take with me, to stay on the island, that I could read and reread and reread till my eyeballs melt, this would be it. It has nothing to do with Scientology. It does, however, have quite a bit to do with anti-establishment and tells the truth about what America was doing at the time and would, few, and would later do, not just to the American people, but to the world. It was later remade in a film, quite a few films actually, but the main film of the same name was in 2000 with John Travolta and Forrest Whitaker. It was a good film, but it barely scratched the surface of the book. To actually make this book into a film, you would have to make it a trilogy. Simple as that. It would have to be at least a three part, two hour movies. But it is the best uh, book I have ever read.